Hello and welcome back to El Sword Void Level Up, where we are our Grandmaster and we're making way to hopefully level 70. Boom! Now it's been about five days since I've used Grandmaster, but I remember her a lot. Very smooth fighter. I know exactly where the sword's gonna go, which makes it very nice. I just need to remember what. Uh, her skill things are. <laughs> you can do it in midair. Awesome. Bomba. So yeah, this is um Hamel. This is the f sixth. Hesitant on that for some reason. I don't know why. Seventh town. There's Reuben, Elder, Bethel, Terra, Peter, Belda. It's at seventh. Yeah. Mm. Um. Yeah. Basically, this place is actually on water. I explained that in the last episode. But the demons have actually come here and taken over the king, which, if you know the character Chung, that's his father. Chung's the prince of Hamel. Um, and he's actually been turned into one of them due to a dark elder which they created, which has basically turned his soul into a dark, because he's their strongest fighter and they really want someone like that. And there's a secret dungeon based around him. And you free him after beating him, so that's pretty cool. Grand Monster's really OP though, like, fuck's sake. <coughs> yeah, watch out for these guys. When they're charging up, they can shoot lasers, and it goes across the whole map, so they could be at the very back of the map and you won't even know. Lucky I know exactly where they are. They're not on every map. Um, just about. Could be wrong on that. I just don't pay. Did they cancel it? Wow. And be careful those big guys. If they try hugging you, you can't move. And you can be attacked by their friends. Though the more they hug you, the more MP you gain from it. Because hugs are magic. NFL. Don't know why I did that. Fucking hell. This is the mini boss, if I remember right. Boom. Seems Elisus stunned him with her looks. That's the big beam. And I'm lucky this is on an angle, so. Fuck. Need to go hit trip. Once you hit him, they stop. So that's good. The next boss is gonna be very annoying. So I should really heal. Do I have any, um... Healing things? No? Fine. I'll use that. See, to survive 30 seconds, that's all. 25 now. That's cool. Whee! <laughs> Do 
This guy can be easily stunned. Now, I don't know what exactly stuns him, but I know that adds jump Z can stun him. Boom! Fuck. <laughs> Those explode. Fan, that's a test. Uh. Boom! Shit. I'm terrible at this guy. This guy is annoying in an, uh... Damn. Now, um, it will be getting harder to level here, so I'll only be doing one dungeon each. I won't be repeating a dungeon in this video, so when I get to a point that I can't do any more dungeons until I level, I'll just keep on spamming that dungeon off camera, and then I'll turn it back on before I level, so at the end of the dungeon, and then you'll see me level, and then we'll move on to the next dungeon, and repeat. So, yeah. <coughs> Ugh. Get my um promo one now because I just wanted to show off my cogwarts that my boyfriend gave me. Boom. These um these fish can get very annoying. Lucky for us, we're an OB master. means fish and nothing to me. This is like the most annoying and most unlogical map in the whole existence of Hellsword. Not only does fire work underwater, um, you can summon lightning strikes in water, just like that. That actually worked very well. I didn't expect a lightning strike. Um, and you don't drown as fast as normal. And you can run and attack fast. It's just that your jumping is off. You'd think if they amplify the jumping, they'd be decreasing the attack speed. <laughs> I find that funny. Imagine if a game had an underwater level and your attack speed and everything was very low, because logic. Imagine what people would be fighting over. It's like, ooh, I caught a circus first. Oh, really? What makes you think we should do the attacking? You're underwater. I wonder what excuses people would come up with. <laughs> it's like, ooh, it's meant to be a game, it's not real life. Ooh, I just want to be able to, um, for whatever, I just want the attack speed up. These guys under the flooring, I don't really know how you summon them out. You just have to walk over them a few times. Oh no. I could stalk me there. <laughs> Found that funny. I swear, if I knew GRM, um, GRM also, was this powerful, I would have made her months ago. Like, holy shit. I know my weapon's plus 10, but... Wait a minute. And this is the level 35 version. I haven't even unlocked the 55 version. I should have done that at the start of the video. <laughs> holy shit. Ugh, come on. Just get up there. Nope. I guess we're not going up there. Seriously, I'm on a time limit here. I need to get done with Hamill and Sander within an hour and 30 minutes. Oof. I wonder if you guys can actually see if I do it. Because you, you're the ones with the time limit. 
Boom. Boom. Shut up, he's at. Sorry. And this guy. Boom. There we go. Yeah, that's everyone. Cool. I've really got to empty my inventory, to be honest. This bit's pretty funny, because if you do this in hero mode, you can just knock them off the edge. Hero mode means they have, like, I don't know, 100% more health. Or, I don't know, 100 times more health. Their health is really big, like, seriously. Hero mode means you have to be really good equipped to be able to get through it, and you only have three resurrection stones. Max. Even if you have, like, 3,000. You can only use three, and then you're gone. Uh, your party members can resurrect you, though, so if... Yeah. Um, but basically, the bosses are even more annoying. <coughs> Here we go. And this is the first dun- well, not the first. Uh, with two bosses. Charge! Oh. Boom. When he goes to the middle, you may want to run. Just saying. Boom, boom. It's rare he does it though, for some reason. Use your old special attack. Please. Basically goes in the middle and shoots out a big twister kind of thing of water. And if you get caught in it, you can't... Well, I think you can manage to break out of it. But it kills you pretty quick. Um, I guess I'll do GRD. Be right back. And that's all done. I didn't level, but we got something to do. We need to do th two things. Uh, we need to open this box. Let's make sure I have enough, enough room. No, I do not. Let's get rid of these because they're useless. At least to me, they are. And open. Not enough space in the inventory. Okay. Space in the inventory. That's better.
So let's compare them. So we're all doing a lot of damage. This one is now 3,000 more damage. Or just about. It's close enough. 2,800. Whichever one. Um, we can open three more of these up. And since the title went away, we can open a new title. Attack speed. I could have done with the next P title, but okay. <coughs> and now... Coolies. Um, that's my Elise's Void Light, so I won't equip them. Can, though, equip this. That there. And put... Ah, come on. That there. Awesomeness. And now one more thing we need to do. I just want to have some fun with this for, like, at least one dungeon. And the next dungeon seems a little perfect for it because it's just a straight line. No going up levels and everything like that. Oh, just about. Go here. And I didn't do this first because I forgot. We can get a mount. I'm going to get... Ooh. I'm going to get... The black dragon. I like the black dragon. And I'm going to get a pet as well. Bertha Jr. Now, these are just seven days. You get them for opening the first box when you do the first mission. But they're basically just to get you used to what kind of... What mounts are like and everything. Bertha, me man. Bertha, me man. Yeah, Bertha, me man. I don't know why I just came up with that randomly. <laughs> <laughs> and here we are. Here we go. Dragon away. I'm going to drag him away. <laughs> I'm sorry, Bonds. Um yeah, I think it's mainly the weapon that's doing all this. The dragon does damage based on... Well, any mount does damage based on what weapon you have. And since I have a flame and wind weapon, it's doing fire to them, and the wind side of it has a percentage of doing more damage. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, in case you don't know the elements, fire, it means it burns them, which means it does damage every time. Poison's roughly the same thing. Um, but, yeah, it's poison. I'm not sure if there's any, some extra things to that. Wind has a percentage of doing piercing damage, which is damage that ignores the defense and magic defense. Water is basically the same thing, but less chance. But it also decreases their movement and speed. Um, and has a chance of freezing them. Which is good for bosses, because some bosses go into a second stage at certain times. And if you freeze them just before they turn into that second stage, you can actually skip that whole stage if you kill them in time. Um, darkness steals MP and HP from enemies. And Light um, basically stuns them. That's, I think that's all it's useful. I hate, I hate Light. A lot of people hate Light because it's useless. It doesn't do anything but waste time because if you don't attack them fast enough and kill them fast enough, they just fall right back down and the combo is finished. Oh, come on. Uh, did I forget anything? Fire, water, light, wind, dark, poison. I think that's all of them. And that's his ulti attack. Just pulls everything in. Boom. 
the face. How's birth of me, man? Oh, come on. So close. This boss is very weird. I don't know what he's meant to be. He's like a demon, but he uses Nasod technology. I don't know. They are making an Elsword anime, I think. Uh, I'm not sure if that news went anywhere. But... Besides that, yeah. I might explain some of it there. Um. Boom. <laughs> he jumps. And then he comes back later. And there are those laser things that I warned you about. Fly! Nope. Just over the head. Boss time. Now this boss can be very annoying because if you don't kill her fast enough, there are two things to the sides. And if you don't turn them when it tells you to, uh, she can duplicate herself. But with my new weapons, I'll be able to kill her fast enough. <coughs> and I just realized that random mission. It's only 10% extra XP though. It might be enough to level twice, because I'm nearly close to level 57. Who knows? Boom. Nope. Not even close, only halfway. So I ran into a bug on the last dungeon of Atlas. It's like, um, Elysian dungeon. Whoa, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> okay. Yep, yeah, I'm staying as Grandmaster, not the mount. Just wanted to test out the mount and show it off and... Sometimes mounts are pretty useless, unless they're very fast attackers. But... Grand Master's doing fine. Um, but yeah, I ran into a bug, and it randomly happened. I wasn't hacking or anything like that. Um... But basically, I was my Bleed Master, and I was doing it for... the quest, because I need ED, to get my, um... my boyfriend, I think it's Velder Academy... Guard or something? Uh, it's VIG. But... Uh, the hair for Eve. And I need, like, 250 mil. But, um... I ran into a glitch where, after the first room, you drop down into a core area, and you have to destroy the DC on cores, but <laughs> there were two enemies left, but it said zero mobs remaining, and so I'm like, oh, okay, I'll test this, and I went to the next area, it allowed me to, and so I completed the next area, and it said two mobs remaining, and I couldn't go to the next area, and like, oh, glitch, <laughs> and then I posted it on um, the Void Elsword page, I'm on. And everyone's like, oh, that's what you get for hacking. I just, I'm ignoring it. I don't really care. <laughs> People can think what they want. But then this guy's like, oh, you should put hypersonic stab on Blade Master. Hypersonic stab's okay, but honestly, I think it's a waste of MP. It does a lot of damage, yes, but it's not worth it. Not at all. Not only in L Sword is it rare that a lot of enemies are lining up at once. I think Sonic Strike, which is basically a tenth of Hypersonic Stab and does basically the same amount of damage on heaps of mobs if they're all together, which is most common. Um, 
Hypersonic Stab costs like 300 MP for the basically the same amount of damage, and it's nowhere close to a floor clearer. <laughs> like, I may be wrong when I say that, but I've used it once or twice, and I still prefer Sonic Slash. Sonic Strike, whichever one it's called. Because, to put it simply, there are a lot of rooms in L Sword, but there are not much rooms where enemies are just on the floor. They're usually in big groups at once, or somewhere in the air, or they're just everywhere. They're never in one big line. So Hypersonic Stab is going to miss a lot, which is a waste for a 300 MP move. Now, 300 MP moves like, um, moves that home in, or moves that just go everywhere, like RF's Nuke Attack, which is good for boss killers. Now, those are good. <coughs> but I feel like Hypersonic Stab and Sonic Strike are equal in attack. It's just hop Hypersonic Stab is more for big amounts of mobs, which is rare, as I said. So, yeah, I don't really use it for that, that exact reason. I use the Wedding Skill, because then when I get to boss, I have 300 MP, I can use a big attack, and then I can use my Wedding Skill to get the MP back, use another big attack, and the MP has a buff where it's rege um, regenerating MP by about 50 MP each second for 10 seconds, which is cool, because I can do a lot of attacks. And say hello to my little friend. Boom. <laughs> <coughs> Didn't expect that to kill her, but yeah. That was amazing. Felt really good. Um, oh, there it is. And it's Victor, the wrestler. No mercy, you and I equal. Come, Victor. And not the dirty way. I believe I've matured to a high level. <laughs> well then, I didn't need to know that grandma stuff, but okay. Ugh, spider time. Let's do this! Armageddon oh, Blade! I don't know what the skill is, but I prefer Armageddon oh, Blade. Just, come on! Boom. Nope. Just that. 
Oh. Nice. You know, I wanted to drop the mistress, I guess. I'm a guy, but I'm playing as a go-kart now. Should you use that bell? Oh wait, I can use it right now. Boom. Jumped at the wrong moment. So I'm on level two on this. I didn't do anything. There's spore things that you have to break. Um, they can actually either break, like later on uh, in the map, I think it's like the next room and the room after that. They can break into knights that help you, and some of them break into spiders. Now, I think the knights are captured and the spiders are growing in there. Well, maybe the knights are being turned into spiders. I don't know. Here we are. Now this guy actually can jump to the other side if you hit him with multi-attacking hats, um, attacks. Like for example, um, if I were to use my twister attack right now, my Q, he would jump to the other side because he's being attacked rapidly by the same skill. It's the same with Mastermind if he's using, Ma I'm using Ultimate Fury and shit like that. If you attack him with normal skills, like just one hitting now and then, he ends up going angry like he is now, and he can't jump while in that. So, I learned that the hard way. It took me ages to learn that, and I feel so stupid for that. I kept on asking my boyfriend, it's like, what's his secret, what's his secret? And then I learned it. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to do this quickly. And welcome to Frozen Water Temple.
where there's a person up there and they don't want me to get them. There it is. Background music for this is really cool. It's part of the Mega Man um, Zero or whatever BGM that the YouTuber Amazon made. Well, L Amazon L if you're looking it up. If I knew there was only one guy left, I wouldn't have used that. Might as well. They were having a meeting, and I, um, I made it a grand one. I feel like I'm too OP now. <laughs> I don't know why. This is usually the amount of attack my mastermind has. 8,000 and 600. He has about 9,100, I think. And here comes the annoying bit for people that can't second jump. Oh, yep, made it. Go. Cool. Oh, it can hit two people. Nice, I was, I was expecting to kill the guy behind me with it. I killed both of them. Did that guy just commit suicide by shooting spikes everywhere? Or did I kill him? I don't know, I got hit by spikes. Ow! I was gonna say, no lasers, but... There's still a guy there with lasers. All the stuff that can happen in this game is just... Wow. Yeah. Um, every time he goes to a quarter of his health, like quarter down, um, in this case it's 19, uh, he goes to the other side and you have to dodge all this shit. Which is uh, full of crap. It's easy, but it's annoying. And that's what I hate about it. They can't go all to the other side, so just keep doing this. And 14. Next would be 9, and then 4, and then you'll be gone. <laughs> oh, Bertha, was that you? Good doggy. 
He must have done a lot of damage on him. He's now in two. I wonder if he's going to go back. I'm not going to let him. Wee. Wee. Uh, whoops. <laughs> Too early. Uh, nope. You're, you're not going back. I missed with the first one. Didn't miss with the second one. More? Wow, GRD. I love you. Um. Sure. Stupid sound keeps on turning off. Anyway, we're now level 60, so we can learn a few new, few new moves. The ones we haven't learned are Drastic Charge um, and Sonic Blade. Swiftly swing your sword to create shock waves. Okay. It's 100. I'm going to switch it for this, maybe? Let's see. It's 943. This is roughly 705 times 2. That's times 2 on continuous attack. Um... What about Drastic Charge? Charge forward fiercely, press and hold the skill key, charge forward for two seconds. 100% critical, ignores defensive skills. Cause just knocked down when Annihilation activated. I'll switch that for Rushing Sword. Just to test it out, and I'm gonna test this out as well. Um, and I learned these. Enhances Dodge and Slash and Rushing Sword skill. Do I have any of those? Dodge and Slash. No, I do not. Where is it? Dodge and Slash. And Rushing Sword. Uh, dodge and Slash Enhancement. Rushing Sword Enhancement. Using it during Annihilation will increase the damage by 50%. Number of cast increases 0. MP to cost, cost decrease 1. That's not much. Uh, acquire various skills. Swift Rise. Press Directional Key while knocked down. Rolling Slash. Slash and Roll. Uh, press... Um, press X key to swift rise. Escape danger. Increase your own knockdown rate. Um, focus. Reduces attacks knockdown rate. Advanced knights defense. Frontal attack block. Okay then. That's cool. Let's continue. And it's the last dungeon for Hamel. Stupid sound. It always turns off whenever I press F11. I should really change that. <laughs> One day. I'm trying to work around it. Okay. That didn't do much. <coughs> so, Sonic Blade didn't do as much as I expected, but Jurassic's Charge did a decent amount for a 20 MP skill. I like it. I think I'll take away Sonic Blade, though. After this dungeon, I'll experiment with skills. Well, just the ones I prefer, I'll put in. Seriously, you're hugging the air? Are you that desperate?
I guess Sonic Blade is just like, it can't knock them down, maybe? I need to test that out. Okay, um, everyone's dying way too fast. Who's another boss? Or me boss. Which is in the next room. Boom. Nope. Ow. I just rolled. That is cool. That was the uh, passive. When you're knocked down, you can press the or hold down the arrow gear. And you roll. That is cool. It's grand. Have I... Oh, I've still got my um, cockroach thing on. I'm like, wait, am I in my cockroach outfit still? No. Okay, let's test it out. Nope. Ah, one. Well, the next one is Chloe, and Chloe can knock down. I know that is a fact. <laughs> boom boom. Wait a minute, look at my eyes. Oh, I thought my eyes were like, I don't know, that cheery, cheeky smile. And I'm like, oh, you dark monster, you hit him, and you smile like that. Yeah, it doesn't knock them down. So it's less damage, but it doesn't knock them down. That's pretty cool. But it's not PvP, so I don't need it. And that other skill that was with it, I forgot what it's called. I wouldn't use that as well. I'll see if there's anything else I can use. Bomba. Yeah, that tornado skill is OP. <laughs> Fucking hell. Like, it doesn't do much first, but then that final hit. Oh my god. And here's Ron. Ron is one of the hardest uh, guys you'll ever come up against, and yes, it's a guy. Um, because basically, he's very hard to group, especially in Hanur when there's double of him. But if you can, well done. Um, the thing is, he has a lot of iron, but like, uh, whatever it's called, um, and the move's called Iron Body. But basically it means he can't move, like you can't move him, and it is rather annoying, trust me. Because then he can attack during it, and he does a lot of damage. You fuck. I'm not dying to you. <coughs> Bring him out to my weapon. And if I can just get it, come on now. And 
Maybe just a little more. Perfect. Yeah, we both got iron body. Fucker. And you're gone. More GOG. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And welcome to Sanda. The desert area, which is obvious. Now, there's only five dungeons in Sanda. There's Dry Sanda, there is, um, this bird with fairy things, uh, there's Tracks Nest, uh, Village Caluso, oh, there's actually six, actually, never mind. Um, Village Caluso, and then there's another one where there's, um, one boss, and then Heart of the Behemoth, where the boss from the fifth one is evolved, kind of thing. So this should go a lot quicker than Hamel did. I hope. Hundred and sixty percent, nice. Like, since I'm the only person here, of course I'm going to be able to do that. I sort of think you can actually get sucked in here. I thought I did at one point, but it just pulls you into the center. I just rem I just remember this is actually a short dungeon. There's only like what um, seven areas. That's including the boss. So six and all. There you go. And here it is. Boss area. Technically eight areas, but I count this as the boss area. Waldo is awesome, but he's not that strong, honestly. You just need to defend yourself. He can only attack you if he's facing you, so it's very good if you have a move that can go behind him. Or if you're a good jumper. <laughs> that rushing sword ability can come in handy at that moment, so keep that in mind. Hating this. It's much better. This is Gapai, the the one I couldn't name in the um 
Elliot Dungeon. So yeah, Sander is all about tracks. It's all these shelled guys. They're actually demons. No, they're not demons. Um, demons are in only HOP, I think. Um, but basically, the tracks are being possessed or manipulated, whichever one, by the demons. Which I guess is like a Jedi mind trick. They have a weak mind, which means they can be easily manipulated. But um, uh, what do you call it? But the demons don't actually come in until. What do you call it? <laughs> the last dungeon, HRB, which is Heart of Behemoth. Um, this whole town is basically saying how the demons can manipulate. But it was not once do you run into a demon until HRB. And a little in the fifth dungeon, Sandatilius. Oh, I could have uh, done a random mission. It was only 120%. Could have helped, but yeah, I didn't see it. <coughs> There's actually um, a main quest here for Garpai, and you have to try to kill Blackwing and Goldwing, and they're randomly spawned in this area. So I got Goldwing now, but I, if I had to get Blackwing, it would have been so annoying because then I had to restart the whole dungeon. Trust me, I've done that before. Oh, come on. You're annoying. Go away. And level up because I kill babies. And here we are. Should have buffed, but yeah, I can buff here. Steel wing, Kaleno.
Now with this move, she casts all these swords everywhere, and you got to get away from them. So in this case, right to the end. Sometimes one side can be all four, and you can't get away unless you go to the other side. So it could be chance sometimes. She doesn't really do it at certain health, but she does do it when she's attacked a lot. And there's the sword thing. Ow. Come on. And there's that. Cool. This boss of this dungeon can be actually very annoying. Because he can suck your health if you don't kill him fast enough. So, you may want to be careful for that. Shouldn't have jumped down, mate. See, this guy was smart. He didn't jump down. <coughs> Said he just stayed there and watched his friends die. Awesome, 180 percent just what I need. Because if I don't get a if I don't get to level 64, I mean I'll definitely get to level 64 if I do this rapidly. I'll I'll have to repeat this dungeon and I'll do that off camera. But when I do hit level 64, I'll turn the recording back on so you see it. And then we'll continue on to the next one. I want to do that because you can only do the next dungeon when you're level 63 or 64, whichever one it is. And then HRB, you can't do that until you're level 66. And Sandatilius, which is after the next one, you can't do that until you're level 65. Whoa! He explodes after he dies? I didn't know that. Next area can get quite annoying. We have to wait until everyone gets out of the uh, the walls, and then we can move on to the next area. Good 
shit. Oh, come on. I need, I, I need this. This, um, random mission. Please. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Awesome, clear. I don't care. I'm gonna go break down the door. Nine more hits. <laughs> Whoa. As sure as the camera is off, sorry. Nope, nope. Falling down there. Back up! Oh. That counts as a hit, I think. I don't know. That definitely counts as a hit. Well, you have to come for me, mate. On now. Yes! Did it! Oh yeah, completed the running mission. I... <laughs> oh boy. Numbers aren't important in winning a battle. Oh yeah, <gasps> level 64 right away! <laughs> wow, okay, there goes my grinding. I'm having good luck. I haven't, I haven't needed to grind it off screen. I haven't needed to grind off screen. At all. This is amazing. The only times I don't show off screen, and um, that I don't show on screen, are the waiting times for the dungeons. So if you can count how much dungeons I've done, times that into one minute, that's how much times you haven't seen me do stuff. Um, now I have to do this. Oh, I can actually do it when you're level 63. Better to do it when you're level 64, because then you can get ready for the next one. And welcome to the village of the Caluso tribe. Where we are versing, well, Caluso tribes. They're all possessed, by the way. This is what I mean by Sanders showing that demons can possess stuff. Because you don't fight the demons, you fight stuff that they've possessed. Now, game, pretty game. A uh, game that I love so, so much. Can you give me another random mission so I can just skip to level 65? Or maybe 66? I would love that. Because I don't want to repeat this dungeon all the time. This dungeon can actually get really annoying. Oh, whoops. <laughs> because of that. Um, that's actually pretty easy to get past. Don't worry, just don't attack. But the guys here can do combos even while you're attacking them. That's why it can get really annoying. Ooh, 140. That should be okay.
MP recovery, nice. See, I'm doing the damage, but they just keep on hitting me. I'm lucky I've got a high amount of HP. Because, oh, that's what Grandmaster has. A lot of HP. <coughs> don't ask me how fish can live in uh, the air. Uh, honestly, I don't know. And yeah, just group them up, use my C. How much does it cost? 150 for a good kill. Now this is the boss room, but you have to fight two mini bosses first. It was these are the two guys that were sent to kill you basically at the start. I think, maybe just be two other people. Ow. What the fuck? That lag there. I thought it was like, oh, I've already been him. Wait, what? When he gets this, there's like tornadoes all around him. Just stay near him. Also, I realized something. Um, you, he can only attack when you're in front, unless he does that attack. The other attacker has wind all around him, and I'm like, oh, he can attack me. Nope, only if he wants to. Or only if he's facing you, really. And boom. <coughs> Sorry, I know I was on low health, but gonna risk it. Okay, am I gonna level from this? That will decide if I do GRD or not. Didn't level. I'll be right back. And now that we are level 65, finally, because of GRD, um, we can do something special. Now, 
if for those people that haven't actually played Elsa before, or haven't actually reached level 65, or stuff like that, um, when you get to level 65, you learn a skill called your Hyperactive, otherwise known as HJ. Hyperactive is basically a really powerful move. I'm gonna buy 99 of these, but I'm um, 999 because you need one of these to use your HA. Our HA is called Sword of Relics, and basically what HA is is it's a long animation um, of several powerful attacks. That's the best way I can explain it. Um, yeah, I need to find a skill to take away. I think I'm going to take away Juggernaut Buster, because, yeah, it's useful. But i got a lot of useful skills here. Juggernaut Buster is really just to get groups together. But if I got my uh, Saber Extinction, I can easily do that. So, yeah. Um, also, I need to uh, do stuff here. So, I'm going <clears> to... <throat> attack power. Uh, resource consumption, amplified effect, attack power, resource, um, super armor, effects. Oh, um, create a powerful tenera that sucks in all their nearby enemies and then pushes them away. You can move left or right. Generates strong gust pulls in enemies and launches them at the end. Um, isn't that the same thing? Okay. <coughs> Attack power? And... Attack power increases. Now, I want to be able to try and change maybe Drastic Charge? I don't know. Honestly. What should I change for? So I'm going to take this way, no matter what. So, I want to be able to put in... Maybe? Critical dive again? Yeah, I'll do critical dive. That's my set now. Cool. And now, it's time for the Sand Delius. Here we go. If only there was a ranged, um, trait to Saber Extinction. I think there is. I'm not really sure. No, there isn't. But the one I've got right now ignores defenses, which means it's doing a lot of damage, and I love it. Now, this bit's timed. You see there's orbs on the machine. Once they get to the six, um, well, all the monsters get killed, or at least they get freed. Uh, the demons that are possessing him and gets killed. And you're able to go to the next area, so just keep on hitting. And you should be good. I don't really think anything bad happens. I've never tested it. I've never just let them do it.
Damn it, that was too low. I was meant to jump and use it, but I used it accidentally before I jumped. It's not bad, but could have helped. Look out for those bomb things. They'll look turtles, I guess. I never really figured out what they look like. Besides turtles. They explode. Um, be careful of this boss, by the way, mini boss. Uh, she can th shoot these hearts at you. And basically, if they hit you, one of the hearts, like the, the different colors, red and black, I think. I think the black ones make all your skills, except for HA, go into cooldown. Full cooldown. And the red ones reverse it, I think. Fucking hell! Let me get past, thank you. There we go. Time to use our HA for the first time. I love it. I love it. It's just... Wow. <laughs> it's different for everyone. So yeah, I need to do this dungeon one more time. Uh, the level's level 66. And I'll be right back then. And now with level 66, we can continue to the last Sander dungeon. Heart of the Behemoth.
this is the behemoth. In the last dungeon, you may have realized we restrained the behemoth and went into its head to fight Karis. Well, that's where we are right now. Literally, we started off in that room. If you take a look, hang on, let me just kill all these guys. If you take a look, that's actually the same room we first Karis in. Just no platforms. This is actually a very annoying dungeon because there's so many annoying things in it. Back when the level cap was level 70, this was like the one place everyone was. Just for ED and shit like that. Now I will have to grind after this until I'm like level 71. It's just so I can start the Ranox quests. So, yeah. So even if I do the Ranox quests a couple of days from now, because after I get to level 71, I'll probably be going to sleep. Um, it doesn't really matter, because I'll be doing the quest so much, I don't need the XP, EXP light. The only reason I need the XP light is the fact that when you get to when you get to like the last quest for Ranox, you need to be level 79, and you need to be level 80 to unlock the quest that allows you to go to Atlas. So... That's the only reason I need an XP light. But besides that, I don't need it for Elysion. Because there's so many quests in Elysion that make you do so many dungeons over and over again. Um, oh cap, just from it. And that's good. It's a 
this is annoying. Like, fuck's sake. There's not really much I can say while doing this, and it's very annoying. But, um, yeah. This is like, as I said, this is like the first time the demons actually come in. I think I warned you about that person. They have the hearts that can turn your cooldowns on, and it's so annoying. Like, wow. And here's the boss. You can actually see Karis in the background. This is um like Mega Karis. She's uh, sh she's fused with the Behemoth, if I remember right.
There it goes. <laughs> Just that spinning rock. I thought it was going to land on top of it. And squash it down. Actually, pretty good on that. Wow, I dodged all the attacks nearly. And 67. <coughs> anyway, that was all of it. Whoa, okay. Negra's Eve being a badass and being hit on by Lunatic Psycho. Um, I think we didn't actually see the Hamel one. Because, I don't know why. Oh. Okay, um, he's Hamel. Mega turn on by a kiss. Anyway, that was the Hamel and Sander dungeons for level up void. Um, I'm gonna level up to level 71 because that's when I can start the quest for Ranox. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. See ya.